In Creo Parametric Sheet Metal Mode, there is a really old command called a planar bend that allows you to create a bend about an axis that is normal to your sheet metal geometry. And I'm not a big fan of this command. I usually find that there are other ways of getting the same end result. Uh, the other reasons I don't like this command is that it really doesn't represent any kind of real world manufacturing operation for sheet metal and there's definitely not con conservation of mass and a lot of sheet metal commands don't result in conservation of mass but especially with a bend feature I would expect to do that. The one thing I do like about this command is it gives me an appreciation for the modern interface. Let's see how to do this. I'm going to start off I just have this sheet metal wall here it is 12 by 2 so in other words 24 square inches and I'm going to create a bend where it's going to go around in this direction to start off with we will go to the drop down for the bend command and here is the planar command or planar bend command and I'm going to click on it boom here we get the menu manager so you're going to use a lot of menu manager and the old model dialog boxes back from Pro Engineer 2001 with this command. The first selection that you're going to make is whether you want to do it as an angle bend or a roll bend. And these options are available for the regular bend command as well. With the angle, you are going to specify the angle of the bend and the radius. With the roll option, you're just going to specify the radius and it's going to bend to the end of the remaining material. And I'll show both of those. Let's do an angle bend first. So with angle selected, I will click done from the menu manager. And this is the model dialog box. So again, Pro Engineer 2001 and before, this is how you would create features. You pretty much went straight down through here. You could jump around in here, but the easiest thing is to fill out the things in order. And the first thing it wants to know is something relatively unimportant. What do we want to use for the bend table? And you could either use a part bend table or a feature bend table. As I tell most people, you probably should not be trying to calculate develop lengths yourself. So kind of doesn't matter what you choose here, except if you choose feature bend table, you're going to have to define that. Let's just use the part bend table and click done return. Now we have to define our sketch. And first, instead of having our sketch setup dialog box, we're going to do that in the menu manager. So I will select the plane that I want to sketch on. Now it asks if this is a good viewing direction. I'm fine with that. I will click OK. Then we're going to select a side of the computer screen. Top, bottom, right, or left. And then choose something to face that side. And so let me choose bottom. And I will pick this surface to face the bottom of the screen. Now I get into sketch mode. I need to pick my sketch references. Let's grab this side surface as well. I'm going to move my mouse over here and it looks like I'm getting the other surface. That's good. Let's close the dialog box and I'm going to keep this real simple. Our bend is just going to be a line. Let's go from one side to the other. I'm going to make it horizontal and change this dimension to a value of 8. All right, I am happy in sketch mode. I can hold down the right mouse button to get to the pop-up menu to click my check mark to exit out of Sketcher. Now we can see an arrow. In the message arrow, it's asked me to indicate on which side of entity to create the feature. And yeah, I want to bend this part over here. You could flip it if you want, or you could have it created on both sides. But I'm just going to create it on one side. I want this part to remain the way it is. So let's click OK. Now, we've actually gone on to the next thing. It wants to know which side we want to be fixed. The arrow indicates the area to be fixed. I actually want this other side to be fixed, so I will click flip and then OK. Now it's asked me for the angle. You notice the angle isn't even in the right orientation. The angle is going to be about an axis normal to the screen, not how it's presented over here. But let's do a 90 degree angle. Here you can see some common values or you could enter in a value manually. Let's click done out of here. Now for the bend radius, it's not, you know, again, it's really not how it's, you sort of see it here. It's the radius around which you want to go. And rather than using thickness or thickness by two times two, I'm going to enter in a value 
and let's use a value of 0.5. It's showing, hey, let's do you want to create it on this side of the bend axis? I'm going to click the flip button and then click OK. And all the elements have been defined. By the way, back in the day, you really had to pay a lot of attention to the message area. But tell me all the elements have been defined. Select elements or action buttons from the dialog box. And you can click preview and you can see, okay, this is how the geometry is going to be created. If you zoom in and zoom out while you're in preview, you'll get a more realistic preview. But I'm happy with everything in here, so I will click OK. So there we have our bend created that is normal to about an axis normal to our sheet metal geometry. Originally I said that this was 12 inches by 2 inches which comes out to 24 square inches. Let's see what the resulting geometry is. I'll go to the analysis tab. I'll go to measure and then choose area and let's select this surface. Hold down the control key and select that surface. And this one over here and I can see that now we are a total of 25.1 square inches so we actually ended up gaining quite a bit of material with this planar bend let's take a look at the roll option and for the roll option uh, let's go ahead and leave this one in here at first I was going to suppress it and create another one let's do it in the same feature or in this uh, with the same bend in here so back to the model tab, let's go to the bend drop down menu and choose to create a planar bend. And this time instead of doing an angle bend, we will do a roll bend and then click done. And here we have, I'll go through this a little quicker this time. Let's use our part bend table and click done return. And for the sketch, I'm going to sketch on this surface and same orientation for viewing it. And to face the bottom of the screen, let's pick this surface. And for the sketch references, grab the same things as before. And for the line that I am going to sketch, let's just do a straight line and eh, about up over here, over to there, and use a value of 4. Let's click the Hold down the right mouse button to get to the check mark to get out of sketch mode. And right now we have the arrow indicate on which side of entity to create the feature. Let's create it on the other side. So I will click flip. That's good. Let's click OK. And right now it wants to keep this side fixed. I'm OK with that. So let's click OK. And for the radius, let's enter in a value. And I'm going to use that same value I did four of point five by the way that radius of point five it's this radius over here and I'll show you that in a moment and arrow indicates side of bend axis let's flip this and then click OK and all elements have been defined select elements or actions from the dialog box Again, we can preview it you can see how this will end up being created let's click the OK button to complete the feature so again, I did a radius of 0.5 in both situations, the difference between the two, and I just want to verify that for you. Let's go to the analysis tab and then the measure drop down and let's choose diameter. And I'll just pick this edge over here. There we can see it's a value of 0.5. Pick this one over here, 0.5. So that radius value that you enter essentially defines where the axis is going to be located that's normal to the surface that you're doing your planar bend about and the difference between these two again with the first one i had done the angle option where you specify that radius and the angle for the bend with the second option with the roll option you specify the radius and it's just bends the remaining geometry however much material that you have it just bends it over there and that way we have our planar bend created maybe you might find a use for this one but again like i mentioned i usually can achieve the same thing through other features or maybe when i start off with my primary wall i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up 
And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.